In this video, I will explain how I built a simple Outlook Inbox Manager with NADN. Do you have a general email inbox with your team or with your company? And do you add a label of category to each incoming email to connect it with a colleague? This automation is for you. The company I've built this automation for saves about three to four hours a week. You now see my Outlook email inbox. And just an email came in. It's just an example email from our own personal account. If we head over to NADN and execute the automation, do you see it running? Head back over to the email and you see that the label is added to this email. So I now know I need to handle this one. And of course, if you activate this NADN automation, it will automatically. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive in. The first node is the Outlook Email Trigger node. First step, of course, is the Microsoft Outlook credential. If you don't have one, click on the new Create New Credential and follow the steps. On the right, you see the email that just came in in the intro of this video. Uh, I highly recommend to use a filter over here that only unread messages will trigger the automation. Let's look at the second node. The second node is an Excel from OneDrive. Let's open it. In SharePoint, I've made an Excel sheet with every colleague and their client portfolios and which category to add if an incoming email comes from the client. As in the first node, you need to set up the credential first. In this case, the Microsoft Excel account, you can use the same account as in the first node. The resource and worksheet is important to select the right one. Operation is get content. The workbook name, very important to fill in the exact name of the name of the Excel sheet that you made in SharePoint. The worksheet name on the standard one, sheet one. If you want to test this note, on the left side, you see the incoming email can hit execute step and on the right side you see all the categories and the email accounts third node leave this one the third node is a little bit tricky one is a code node where i've put in a java code myself i can't code but with the help of ChatGPT 4.0 mini i've created this java code to help you guys out i will leave exact format of this code in the video description so you can download it and copy paste it in your own automation. What this node will do is look at the email and the sender of the email, the company, and then look at the information that it gets from Excel and do a match. I've set it up in the code that if there's no match, it will add the category Kim. So Kim needs to handle all the emails from new clients that are not in the list yet. Then can add the correct category to the right person in the Excel sheet so that the next time the new client will send an email, it will go smoothly and automatically. To add this note, you can click on the right corner, then it expands and then you can copy paste over here. Let's go to the fourth one. The fourth one is an HTTP request. Unfortunately, Outlook doesn't have a function to add the category to an email through an Outlook node but we need the HTTP request. Let's dive in. To make use of this node to add a category in Outlook, we need to set up a Microsoft Graph. To set up a Microsoft Graph, you can add an application with an API and set predefined rules and permissions. If you want to know how to set up Microsoft Graph, how to set up Microsoft Graph, I will make a video in the future. But for now, ask ChatGPT how to set up Microsoft Graph and connect it to NADN. It will give you a step-by-step guide how to set it up. Now for the note itself. The first one is the method. It's, the, it's a patch. Important to fill in the right URL for Microsoft Graph. Otherwise, it can't match the email with the category. So paste this one in. Authentication is a predefined credential type. Credential type, again, Microsoft Outlook OAuth 2 API. We need to check the box send headers using JSON code. That's all. Also, we need to check the box send body. And again, JSON code. And over here, you see the JSON code categories to add a category to each new email. For this last email it sent, 
it gives the category news and on the right side match the right category to the right email so this is the simple outlook inbox manager stop wasting time and start automate your colleagues and employees will be thanking you if you have any problem setting it up please leave it in the comments down below and i do my ultimate best to help you guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe see you on the next one